Um, I mean, and this comes up too with the detransitioners, right, Eliza? Because there's nothing worse than an apostate. So people get into these communities. They are love bombed. They, you know, they, uh, it's, you get this euphoria, right? So trans joy, trans euphoria. And I want you to talk about that a little bit too. But I mean, you can imagine then to be a detransitioner must just take extraordinary courage. Mm -hmm. Because the amount, I mean, first of all, you've been rejected by your real life community, and then you go into this world, and then to have them reject you on top of it, it's amazing anybody goes through with it at all. And I think, I mean, so often it is a response to just, like, people do hit this point where they seem to just say, like, I just can't do it anymore. And the costs don't matter. Or they matter, but they don't, they're not enough to deter someone at a certain point.